what I'm doing, I'm doing snippets of video, so I'm joining them together. Because I often have to stop and take photographs. I mean, you can't not take a photograph of Brent Knoll like that, can you? With the, the field all ploughed up like that. And I think, I wonder what that is over there. So it could be because of the river. That might, that might be um, warning signs. I don't know, it might be, there might be a trek over there. I don't know, I haven't explored over there. I know you can walk along the bank, but it's something I just haven't done yet. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, like I said, and as Bowie said, he, when he was in his late 50s, he could feel the strength going. Um, even though you're still st sort of strong, he, he could feel it, there was a change. There is a change as you get older. Um, I just I'm gonna zoom up to the field up there where those young cows greeted me at the gate and then ran off dancing. Right up there they are now, look. Those lovely cows. Yeah, there's strength. I mean, I've slowed up for lots of reasons. I mean, it's age. I mean, my lungs have been good today. I mean, I haven't had any need for a, even thinking of having an inhaler or anything. I, and because I, what I do now, I do take my time. And it's because I've had some, sort of, because I've had some um, tightness. I don't want the tightness to come, so I'd rather take a bit longer. And. Uh, and enjoy it without thinking getting all that tightness. I mean, a young person now, my young self would be wanting to be gone, up, marched off by now, a long time ago. Yeah, so the other thing is, well, it doesn't matter once you're retired. I mean, if there's a pressure on you when you're younger to do everything quicker, to fit in as much as you can. Now you could say that about old age, you ain't got much time left, you better do more. And people have bucket lists. Um, I'm, no, I'm realistic though, I know money's limited. Um, there are places around the world I still like to visit really, I'd love to go to uh, Russia. I've always wanted to go to Leningrad or Stam whatever they call it now, um, St. Petersburg and all that. I've always felt that in me for a long time I thought, and America in a strange way I mean I've got people, descendants of ancestors of mine who, like a lot of us have went to America New York and Bro the Bronx Brooklyn I mean and um, oh, look at that. and others, others that went there the Briggses to Iowa and all that sort of thing you know, Stutfels went to America. Um, even now, I'm just discovering more stuff about my Wood family. I've got um, an Edward something. Well, it could be Edward Richard. I can't remember now. But he's related to me, and he they emigrated to America late in the was it 1940s or something like that. It was quite late. Um, anyway. Um, and there's lots of other places I'd like to go, to be quite honest. I mean, when you're a kid, you always think, oh, I'd love to go on a safari, you know. Um, see the elephants for real and all that, and the tigers. But I am put off a bit by all the exotic animals and insects they have. I mean, I've been to Israel, Greece, Italy, sort part of Italy, um, Yugoslavia, Malta, um a bit of France coming back across Europe from um, Israel that time, Israel-Palestine I like to call it really to be correct um, so far so good folks no cows so far so good because the farmer don't want to walk up this far they don't, last time they didn't even have milking cows when I was here. So we just look back round. 
where we come from up there. We're on the hill. Sometimes I walk along the top along the Roman road and come down further up to Bleeden. All depends what, you know, I like to vary it a bit. Like I said, I haven't done it in reverse for a long time. Um, I'd probably be all right doing it in reverse because you have most of the energy when you first set off. So to climb up that, I might be all right. But now I know they put cows in that field, I might be a bit more wary. Actually, um, might be. I didn't like the thought of them spraying pesticides or whatever they'd spray on that field either. I don't know why they were doing that. That's a worry. They were spraying when I was walking across it. There's no warning that we're spraying today or anything. So if I get headaches and feel sick or die of cancer because I've been inhaled a load of pollutants, I'll know it's them. Because <sighs> people who, whoever does listen or they can't be bothered because they don't like me rambling on they, you can always take turn the volume down but look at the just look at the scene though do you know what I mean it's absolutely magnificent now I used to see this scene when I had Abbeville my bedroom I had a big bay window and I never knew I'd be walking around on there so much when I lived in Abbeville um, I lived in Abbeville and out of my window, I could see this, this stretch of the hills. And, um, you know, I, I, I would have never have thought So I'm just looking for a plane I thought I saw. I can't see it anyway. Um, I, I would never have thought that I'd be doing so much walking over here. I mean, it was a time when I was working, I was busy. I never had a lot of time for walking in those days. No, we didn't hardly do anything, really. We did used to go up, um, Brent Knoll was the favourite, and Breen Down, and perhaps Holford. Those were just through, and we didn't do massive walks. I've only just really started to explore the tops since I've retired. I really didn't have time or the energy. I wasn't tired all the time. I didn't work all the time. <laughs> and of course, I was studying as well. That was my thing. Once I'd stopped marathon running, I took up studying again. Once again, another field with no cows. They're keeping them till I get the back, the last field, isn't it? And they'll say, oh, you've got to go back now. No, I won't. The thing is, if you go through a farm like that, they, they could have a dog running. They could have a dog. So, you know, you'd risk it if you go and save the farm and they've got a bloody great big German Shepherd. Or, or worse. It's often been shrouded in a mist today, Brent Knoll. There's two funny looking birds walking about here a minute ago. Funny little things. I don't know if they're baby pheasants or what they are. They look like moor hens that they've disappeared now. Oh, there's one there. I think they're babies. There they go. They're not pigeons. There's some weird sort of little bird. I don't, know, I don't know what they are. Right, so we're keeping going, folks, through these lovely fields in the Somerset countryside. Over and out for now.